We've talked about it time and time again here on KFDM. Roads torn apart and filled with potholes in Port Arthur. All new here tonight at 10, KFDM's Aaron Mack surveys the damage and goes straight to a city councilman for answers. Damaged and eroded streets in Port Acres, causing drivers to swerve and nearly hit mailboxes just to pass through safely. So you have Garnet, and which is pretty bad. You might have drove down that way on your way in. Um, 61st. And then I know that 60th was been, I think it's 60th that's pretty bad too. Um, I'm, they're doing construction on Jade. Tanya Mills drives down Garnett on her way to and from work. She says construction has caused a bad road to become even worse. And it's basically a one vehicle road. If there's another vehicle going, you have to stop or you're going to drop off on the side and hopefully not into a ditch because it's that big of a drop off. Mills reached out to Port Arthur City Councilman Harold Doucette. He understands the frustration. Well, I, I drove in these streets in Port Acres and also in other areas of the district. And we have streets that's almost undrivable, a lot of potholes and some area they're completely, uh, whereby two cars can't pass. I even decided to check myself. So I measured a pothole that's two feet, five inches long and nearly five inches deep. Doucette says funding to make repairs is limited each year. Well, some streets get fixed in all of the communities within District 4. And doing it in that method, quite naturally, each year we're going to fix streets. But there are going to be some streets that are horrible that won't be funded. Doucette says he wants a solution and understands the anger he wants the city to do its part. In Port Acres, Aaron Mack reporting. Doucette plans to create a Facebook page to update the people of Port Acres on progress in repairing the road.